Hello there, my name is Kirk and I'm a filmmaker and marketer based in Melbourne and this here is all of my camera gear. Well, most of my camera gear. Everything I really carry on a day-to-day -day basis whenever I'm doing shoots for clients, work or anything else. Apart from my lighting gear, I'd say everything that I carry or I would need is inside this case and it is the Nanook 935 case and it is an awesome competitor compared to the very popular Pelican cases out there. Now back when I did my first impressions and unboxing video, I wasn't too sure on how exactly I wanted to organize all of my camera gear in here. There's a few different options that you can do. You can either get this foam insert ball, which is really kind of gross. You could get a actual padded divider, which comes straight from the brand Nanook itself. You could get a Trek pack system, but they're only really available with the Pelican cases out there or you could do a DIY Trek Pack systems. Now, those Trek Pack systems that you can actually get are really expensive, especially if you buy them separately. And once again, they're only kind of available with the Pelican cases and not these ones here. So doing a DIY job was really great for the wallet. It's really great for a bit of a creative project. And it also enables you to have so much customizability and add things in the future as well. So I wanted to deep dive and show you exactly what I put in my Nanook 935 case. Obviously I got the black one. So doing a DIY Trek Pack system is not only the best way because you save money, but you also save so much space compared to the actual padded dividers that you could get this with the Velcro inserts and everything. There's a lot of kind of wasted space in there because those padded dividers are so thick. So in the end, I'm really happy with how it turned out. There are tons of really great guides out there and I'll link a few videos in the description below and some websites too where I followed how you can actually make the DIY system itself. This is not a DIY tutorial video just because there are so many of them out there but more so how I kind of did it and how I laid out my camera gear of course. Essentially it is called core flute mixed with some foam padding. I bought some from my local hardware store. It really is kind of like the material that real estate agents use whenever they're doing big sign posting outside or any type of storefront thing. They've got these perforations on the inside of the holes here and essentially all you really need to do is grab some double sided adhesive foam that peels off and sticks on to uh, this side here and you cut all of your pieces accordingly and you measure it all out and everything. So if you've got a ruler, grab some double sided adhesive foam as well as this core flute and you're really, really good to go. I honestly think it's a really great method and if you take your time to actually cut out and measure everything, it can really look pretty much as close as to the original Pelican product that they sell now. So of course, let's see what is inside this camera case here. It's really small and compact and I can really fit four or five of them in my car if I wanted to, but we'll open it up and see exactly what it looks like. So starting off with my main camera of choice, this is my Blackmagic Pocket 6K Pro that I use with a tilter cage along with a NATO rail on top and that takes up pretty much the biggest component of the whole camera case and fits here on the left hand side. It's great, it's my main camera and I use it for all of my video and cinema shoots. Next up, I have the charger. It's a dual charger for the NPF 570 batteries that fit in the uh, Blackmagic 6K Pro. I put that here on the side and just because also on the left hand side of the case, as you can see, there's a bit of a hole there. The cables fit in nicely here and easily tuck in just because the wheel arch at the bottom of the case kind of protrudes up, which makes it the perfect spot for these cables. The first lens I have here is the Canon 18 to 135. It is a very ancient lens that I like to use with the 6K Pro, but I am looking to upgrade it just because it has the EF adapter. I use it right now, but my main lens that I use all the time is the Sigma to 18 35, and it has a tilter ring on the top here, which enables me to add a matte box nice and easily. And I use that pretty much every time I use the camera. The next piece of kit I have is this DJI Pro RC controller. I absolutely love it because I no longer have to carry around my phone anymore and it fits nicely in the top hand slot just here next to the battery charger. Once that's in, because the Blackmagic doesn't really have any autofocus, I have this Tilter Nucleus Nano Follow Focus system here, which I always attach on the side of my Blackmagic 6K Pro and that sits in right next to the lenses. Following that, of course, is my DJI Mini 3, my camera of choice for in the sky, and the small form factor is amazing and fits in right next to the lens. Just to the right of the lenses and the follow focus, I have this Rode video mic along with the dead cat on top. It's a really small and portable mic. I don't really record audio too much at the moment, but when I do, it fits in nicely just here and goes wherever I go. And just below the microphone, I put in this small rig side handle, which I use to rig out my Blackmagic camera, and it fits just in here. 
And to eliminate lens flare when I'm shooting outdoors, I have this tilted matte box, which fits really comfortably just in the bottom right hand corner of the case and pretty much is with me on every single outdoor shoot. In the remaining two slots of the case, I fit in this small rig top handle, which clamps onto the top of my NATO rail, as you can see on the Blackmagic 6K Pro. For power, I also do carry around the AC adapter for the Blackmagic 6K Pro for whenever I'm doing type of video work that requires me to plug it in for a long continuous time. One of my favorite 6K Pro accessories is this EVF, which I slot in just in the top right hand corner, as well as the eyepiece, which goes just next to my small rigged side handle too. And this last slot, I put in a lot of different miscellaneous accessories like this small rig multi-tool, but quite often I do put a lot of these accessories in the top hand of the lid organizer of this entire case, like this little Velcro satchel where I put in a lot of different screws, nuts and bolts whenever I need, including some extra Allen keys. And finally, of course, sometimes I do put in things like my Tiffin Pro Mist filter or whatever I might need for specific times on the shoot, like sometimes I put in a clamp or other little adapters like this power adapter and other sort of things. So it really is the miscellaneous kind of pouch or section within the case. And whenever I do get more gear, I'll probably put some other things on the right hand side and finally this follow focus gear ring fits just within the nucleus nano slot which I use to manually focus and attach to any lens despite the thickness. So now that we've had a look inside the case I want to kind of look at the attention at how I organize the top and what I put in there as well. Now with these three main compartments, I keep my favorite little accessories in here. This is my favorite compartment here and that's because I keep all of these little Blackmagic 6K Pro batteries. I believe these are the Sony NPF 570 batteries, which I can fit, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six batteries all across here in the row and they fit absolutely perfectly. They're the perfect height. They don't protrude past this area here and I can keep six of them. And every time I use a battery, I take one out and I know how many is left. It's almost like a bit of a status bar, I guess you could call it. On the left-hand side here in the main compartment, I keep a little pouch here, which has all the screws and some Allen keys. I keep this Tiffin Pro Mist Black filter here and this is at a quarter strength. And down here, I keep a couple of these mounting rods, if I can get them out which I can easily attach to my camera whenever I need. And I have this little post here or this little uh, loop which goes right onto the uh, tilter cage for my Blackmagic 6K Pro. And lastly, in this top right hand compartment here, I have the small rig multi-tool. This thing, if you haven't seen one or got one, go ahead on Amazon and grab one right now, especially if you're rigging up your camera quite often. It is fantastic. I grab everything. I don't need all the other kind of details and screws and stuff. I just have this one tool and it's, it's beautiful. Next up as well, I have some of these extra propeller blades for my DJI Mavic 3, or I think it's just the Mini 3. The entire DIY system, so all of the core flute and everything, cost me under around about 50 US dollars, which is fantastic. It's around about 80 Australian, but you could really bring down the cost if you didn't want to buy as much material for me. I made so many extra pieces in case I needed to use it in the future, and if I wanted to add and reconfigure things as well. So thank you so much for watching this video. If you have any questions at all about the case or my camera gear, please let me know in the comment section below. Have a wonderful day, stay safe, and of course, do take care.